Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel where we break down the latest in crypto news and developments. Today we have some exciting and let's say eye-opening updates on major players in the crypto market, innovations in blockchain, and the future of some of the top cryptocurrencies. Let's dive right in. First up, let's talk about a massive bet on Pala Market, which is a decentralized prediction platform. There's been a lot of buzz around an anonymous better known as Freddy9999, who's placed over $20 million on former President Donald Trump winning the 2024 US election. Yes, you heard that right, $20 million. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal? It's just a bet, right? Well, it is a big deal because this bet alone has massively impacted the odds on Paula Market. Many are questioning if this could be market manipulation. Is Freddy9999 betting based on insider knowledge or is this an attempt to influence public opinion and shift sentiment? Now, either way, it's caused a huge stir in the crypto and betting worlds. Next, Kraken, which is one of the most well-known crypto exchanges, is preparing to launch its own blockchain called Inc. in early 2025. This blockchain is designed specifically for decentralized finance or DeFi. And if you've been around crypto for a while, you know DeFi is one of the hottest sectors right now with huge potential for disruption. And what's unique about Inc is Kraken's approach. Unlike other projects, they're not launching their own token. Instead, they'll focus on making DeFi more accessible with over a dozen decentralized apps at launch. Kraken will initially manage the transaction process, but the long-term plan is to fully decentralize it. Kraken is following in the footsteps of Coinbase, which launched its own blockchain base in 2023. The goal? To make DeFi trading and lending easier and more user-friendly. This move by major centralized exchanges is a strong signal that DeFi is here to stay and accessibility is key to mass adoption. Let's shift to Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Vitalik Buterin, Ethereum's co-founder, one of many co-founders, has proposed some big changes that could seriously affect how Ethereum performs. Vitalik wants to reduce Ethereum gas fees, those pesky transaction fees, by lowering the cost of certain operations on the Ethereum virtual machine. This could potentially boost transaction speed by one and a half times. Now, why is this important? Well, Ethereum has some serious competition, especially from Solana, which has recently outpaced Ethereum in daily gas fee revenue. So for Ethereum to maintain its edge in this fast moving space, these fee reductions could be vital, but Ethereum's price has dipped recently and some analysts say that technical challenges ahead are significant. This plan from Vitalik could be a make or break moment for Ethereum's future. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now for all of you Bitcoiners out there, we know transaction fees can sometimes be crazy, but there are a few strategies you can use to minimize those costs. So let's break it down. First, you can try sending during low traffic times. Bitcoin's network gets congested, which pushes fees higher. So if you can, wait for off-peak times to send your transactions. Also, another option is use layer two solutions. The Lightning Network is a great option for faster and cheaper Bitcoin transactions. Also, adjusting your fees manually. Some wallets let you manually adjust fees. If your transaction isn't time sensitive, set a lower fee and just be patient. If you use custodial platforms like exchanges, this won't be an option for you, which is yet another reason why you should self custody. And lastly, you can try using SegWit wallets because SegWit reduces the transaction size, which means you pay less in fees. A note on compatibility here, there are three different types of Bitcoin addresses, legacy, SegWit, and native SegWit. They are all compatible at the protocol level, meaning you can send and receive transactions between them. However, older wallet software might not support sending to newer address types like native SegWit, for example. Each address type affects transaction fees with SegWit and native SegWit offering lower fees due to smaller data sizes and efficiency improvements. Compatibility largely depends on wallet features. 
Using these tips, you can save a lot when transacting on Bitcoin, and it's all about being strategic. Side note here, if you like getting helpful tips like this, you'll love checking out learningcrypto.com. The crypto space is moving fast, and whether you're a trader, investor, or just a crypto enthusiast, staying informed is crucial. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more updates on everything crypto. Let me know in the comments what you think about Freddy 9999's bet or on Kraken's new blockchain. Will it be a game changer? Thanks for watching and until next time, stay curious and stay crypto savvy.